Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this is our good friend SBNG, Sponge Deck Delivery Systems Incorporated. Usually I've been trying to do this one uh, every Friday, um, but after today's move and volume, uh, couldn't really wait, wanted to hop on it um, and try to beat everybody to the million requests I know I'd be getting on it. So um, hopefully you're seeing this so you don't have to waste your time and send me a request. It's already done. Anyways, um, pretty evident. If you look down here at the volume bar, way above average volume and it looks to be the best average volume or best volume day since here and maybe this day was actually less so if this was less than I mean it's been a long time since we've seen this kind of volume and the best part was uh, with this sort of volume you didn't see a red day or some sort of even day like this you saw a nice bullish price reaction uh, which is always a good thing to see makes everybody happy and just makes the chart look better um, I did a chart last night uh, on a 30 minute chart and what I had talked about there was we essentially had a double bottom um, and I talked about this area right here being the double bottom and sure it wasn't an exact double bottom because this area down here did drop down less than what this was uh, but the psychology is the same um, the bulls found this a good price here and found it a good price at that same location you know if, uh, a, a few weeks later and then from this bottom here um, pretty much took off had some consolidation um, yesterday and then today you know the rest is history and the best part is um, look at this remember each this is a 30 minute chart so each one of these bars or candlesticks represents 30 minutes so one two three four five six seven so for what the last about three and a half hours um, there was just bullish buying and the bulls just pushed it up um, had a pull back here to the 10 period simple moving average and bounced off it um, this isn't really where I, where I wanted to spend time um, but I did do a 30 minute uh, yesterday so I wanted to uh, and, and or static chart that is not a video chart so don't go searching for the chart I did yesterday it was just a uh, annotated um, chart but let's hop back to the daily and this is where we're gonna mainly spend our time because there's lots of things going on uh, with this uh, the first kinda thing that I wanted to point out was um, this right here actually let, let me move this up but we've had a nice little uptrend going since back here and um, late actually it started here um, so I didn't completely draw this accurate but for argument's sake we'll just say in May this uptrend started and keep in mind this is a longer term trend and things have been moving up since then and I did a chart on this a few days ago from a weekly chart perspective and I said that things still looked good um, from a weekly overall chart perspective perspective and I got a little grief for that because some people didn't understand I was talking about long term and not short term um, but hopefully those people now see what I was talking about um, the daily chart starting to come back to life again here so despite this pretty frustrating and probably kind of boring period for some people um, judging by the volume and the price reaction things are starting to wake up um, I'm kinda lazy and I slacked off I don't I'm guessing there's news today but I don't know if that's truly the case I don't really care I just care that something happened today as is very evidenced by the volume and price reaction so let's jump into some supports and resistances uh, the first one actually what I'm gonna do is just zoom up here but the first resistance that was broken was just simply this previous high one which is valued at the high of that candle um, so the high here was uh, 0.1515 that was broken therefore this becomes support and then busted through another resistance level up here uh, at this previous high this high was at uh, we had a high here at 16 and 16 so the 16 cent level I remember that one being a crucial one fell also therefore that resistance becomes support and now the next um, let's see okay the next key resistance and this is actually a, a, a big one because let me just draw it out here uh, that way then we can talk about it and what I'm going to do is make this a little thicker to represent a, an important resistance level um, but back here in about mid-June, price came up here, hit it, 
then again in late July price came up and hit it and I believe I've heard some people say this was a fat finger trade um, but nonetheless a fat finger trade that happened right at this uh, previous support you know maybe there's a little bit more to it than that but anyways from a charting perspective these are two resistance points um, so just whatever happened here it doesn't matter because we still had this previous high up here anyways um, but this is the next key battleground um, at 0.178 uh, maybe just say 18 cents for argument's sake and then after that uh, quite a big um, break in terms of resistance level so it could really get moving uh, looking here the next resistance really isn't up until around 25 cents so from you know 18 up into 25 that'd be a pretty significant move there is it going to go up there in you know one week's time probably not but from a charting perspective uh, the resistance levels really thin out after a break of 18 cents so it could possibly be this week where this price level comes up and gets tested. Maybe it'll be a while. Um, but either way, uh, the point being, we're approaching what I like to call a pay-per-view um, battle. You know, when you watch the fight nights on pay-per-view, this is going to be a good fight here between the Bulls and the Bears up at this resistance. Uh, hopefully it happens. Still got a little bit ways to go. Um, but after today's volume and the price reaction busting through these shorter-term resistance levels, it looks like it's a real possibility of having the matchup take place. Now in terms of support, ideally you'd like to see these support levels hold on any sort of pullback, um, but within the grand scheme of things, and I know there's quite a few long-term SPNG players, uh, the key support is really just this tread line, um, so you have plenty of wiggle room if it decides to pull back here, because technically it will still be in an uptrend as long as this uh, tread line can hold. So on the support end, ideally you'd like to see these two hold, um, but if you're a longer-term player, uh, both of these could fail and you'd still be in an uptrend, so um, by no means would it be any reason to panic. And then real quick, just looking at the hourly, uh, just shows a real great um, view of these last two days. As I showed on the 30 minute, bounced off this place here, came up, did some consolidating. Today, morning made a big move, pulled back, and then as you can see for the last about three and a half hours, just real nice action, leveled out here, and then just took off, bulls in charge. And then you look down here at the volume, each hour the volume was increasing. So, uh, you know, one of those things where uh, the day ended just like you uh, like to see it so seeing something like this I wouldn't be surprised to see a gap up in the morning um, if it doesn't gap up I you know don't be surprised to see it uh, move pretty strong just because of the simple reason that the last three hours today um, did finish uh, quite strong so uh, we'll see what tomorrow brings but that wraps up uh, the sponge tech chart for today if you have any other questions uh, please send me a message and I'd also like to point out um, that if you haven't been to bullmarketnewsletter.net, uh, please go there. If you sign up for the newsletter, you'll get a free ebook, and that's been getting really good reviews, and it is free, like I said. And then you also are subscribed um, to the list, and with that, you'll get bullish chart setups, bullish fundamental plays, articles, and trading ideas, and our trading ideas have been uh, doing pretty well. Uh, our most recent one was alerted to the list at 22 and a half cents, and in about a week's time went up to 30 and a half cents. So not a gigantic gain, but hey, you know, 30% in a week uh, with good liquidity, can't really complain about that. So, um, and then the one before that was about a 75% gainer. So we've been having success with our trading ideas too, but we do cover it all from small caps to big boards, so it's nice variety. And as I mentioned, no strings attached, it is all free. So go there, sign up for that, and um, if you do have any other questions on Sponge Tech, like I said, please let me know. If not, thanks for listening, and let's uh, see if tomorrow brings the pay-per-view matchup.